the autumn of 1846, Don Bosco regained his health and made plans to return to his work in Turin. He was very conscious that what he had received from his family, a spirit of work, a true appreciation of what was important, optimism when life was difficult, resilience, the ability to start again after setbacks, cheerfulness, a ready to welcome and be hospitable, a lively faith and deep affection were the virtues he wished to have present in his oratory. He wanted it to be a place that welcomed where young people in need experienced joy and happiness. He hoped to create a family spirit and provide an experience of family for the young as well as skills to take their place in life. He decided to speak to his mother and invite her to join him in Turin. Mother, would you come to spend some time with me? I have rented three rooms at Valdaco, and soon I will give hospitality to abandoned boys. You told me one day that if I became rich, you would not set foot in my house. I am now poor and deep in debt, and to live alone in that neighbourhood is very risky for a priest. Don Bosco's mother, known as Mamma Margaret, thought about the request, and then agreed to accompany her son back to Turin to begin a new phase in her life working for the poor and abandoned at the age of 58. Mama Margaret cultivated wonderful friendships with the boys she met at the oratory. They confided and trusted in her, and she responded with great kindness and support. Her presence helped to create a warm, caring home. Each evening she gave them a word of advice or encouragement before retiring. This became known as the Good Night, which became part of Salesian culture. Mama Margaret had a profound influence on the spirit and ethos present in the oratory at Valdarco. She showed future Salesians how to accompany the young and win their trust. Mama Margaret was a simple, illiterate woman, yet she had extraordinary wisdom and kindness. For the last 10 years of her life, Spent working in the oratory in Turin, she devoted herself with great generosity to the well-being of poor young boys who had been rejected by society and often by their own families. Lord, we pray for the honesty to realise that true wisdom comes from people like Mama Margaret, who love, dedicate themselves and embrace what comes their way in life. True wisdom enables us to have trust in you and hope for everybody. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. For you.